My name is Francis Mwangi, one of the directors of Joy Farm Lanet, which is located in Moa Estate, Lanet, Bahati, Nakuru County. I want to give a brief uh, history of Joy Farm. Uh, Joy Farm started in the year 2008, and we started with uh, four cows. And uh, we have a journey, we have moved for those uh, 12 years. And I would want to highlight on uh, the seed which germinated into Joy Farm. Uh, as a child, we were brought up by our late mother um, through rearing of one cow, which was named January. And uh, this is where I developed the interest of uh, the family. When I look back, I remember the photo we took in the year 1973, which I'm holding to you, and this is the genesis of Joy Farm Planet. We are three directors, myself and my two sons, Maurice and Morgan, who are also interested in dairy farming. I started by producing 60 liters of milk. That was now the following year of 2009. And uh, this created impetus of even increasing my heart to where we are today. Currently, we have a total herd of 60 dairy cows. In the following categories, milkers are 22, dry cows are 5, heifers are 6, in-calf heifers are 14, and the calves are 13. That makes a total of 16. We have a capacity or well, the cow one we have constructed has a capacity of 110 cows. So we are less 50 cows where we stand now. We anticipate by the year 2021, 31st December, we shall have 110 cows. Staff, we have six members of the, of, of the, the staff who work in the farm. We are headed by the manager. The manager takes control of the farm and uh, organizes the other five uh, workers. He has one assistant and then the rest four assist in the management. All these members of staff, they are housed within the Joy Farm itself. Acreage, we sit on five acres where Joy Farm is. And uh, we have other two acres, uh, about 600 uh, meters from where we are. We have hired 15 acres elsewhere. And all this acreage, we do maize silage, which is our main fodder in this farm. Sources of water, we went uh, through a very big challenge because in this estate we don't have clean water. We only have raw water which goes to town for treatment, but uh, we don't get it back to our homesteads. Therefore, I decided to spend more and see Kaboho, uh, which has a capacity of five cubic meters per hour. The water is enough to do irrigation in the farm and also be used for domestic uses. We intend to do to harvest rainwater from the roofs of the cow barn and uh, our houses to supplement this and to um, minimize wastage of water. Feeding our main feed uh, feeds components are mainly maize silage, like I have stated, uh, hay, lucerne, and daily meal. That is mainly what we feed our cow with. Of course, not forgetting that we also have um, uh, mineral leak, which uh, we get uh, locally.
kanya he na lafa ngobe ina fa kule kilo bilia he kwa siku na kilo bilia lafa kwa siku so hii hii he ndika kanya hapa yote ina fa kule kwa siku ni 108 so ni ba divide ba 3 ina fa ni tengeneze ya ya mili moja sasa hii ni mitengenya kati fo ya ni mitengenika na lafa na he Sources of heat during the uh, middle week, we source more materials from around, and then we make our own daily meal, which is branded as Joy Farm Feet. Uh, that is both the daily meal and the middle week. How do we feed our cows? We have a feeding regime whereby we feed three times in a day. That is both the daily meal and the fodder. We feed early in the morning from six, between six and seven, that is the first feeding. Then we feed uh, by one, between one and two, and then the third feeding comes from between six and seven. The same time, we feed uh, daily meal in the same, in the same regime. So that's uh, mainly what we do when it comes to feeding. Milk uh, production. As I said, we started with the 60 liters. That was in the year 2008. And uh, our highest production has been 704 liters from 23 milkers. That one will give you an average of 30 liters per cow per day. That has been our highest. And we attained that target in March 2019. Uh, October 2019, we were not lucky. We had a challenge of uh, foot and mouth disease, which uh, really hit our dairy cows and brought down the production from 704 liters per day to 150 liters per day. We have not gone back to our peak of 30 liters per cow per day. Currently, we are at 22.45 liters per cow per day. We hope very soon, when the cows recover, we'll be able to go back to where we were, an average of 30 liters per cow per day. Marketing. We mainly market our milk uh, through two processors. We have one from Nairobi by the name Biofood. That is our main uh, processor who collects our milk from the farm. The surplus we supply to the new KCC. Nakuru plant and they all collect uh, this milk from the farm. We have uh, a cooling tank of 1,000 liters so they collect um, after, after two days they do the collection. Kwa majina naitua Chako Pasimiyu na mara nyingi najulikana kama Mutumishi. Nafanya na kampuni inaitua Biofood, uwe natili na mambo ya maziwa, na products ya maziwa. 
na tumekuwa tunachukua hapa masiwa hapa Choi Farm kwa muda wa miaka mbili. Hii masiwa tunachukua hapa Choi Farm it is of high quality. Hatujapata complaints mingi kuhusu. Mara nyingi masiwa yao huwa safi. Quality yao iko juu na uko payo wanaipokea kwa njia mzuri. Eh, kwa majina naitwa Boaz Akoyo nafanya na kampuni inaitwa Balfour Products na huwa tunachukua maziwa hapa Joy Farm na huwa tunachukua siku ya Sunday, Tuesday na Thursday na kwa wiki ni mara tatu na Balfour Products iko situate ni Nairobi so tunatoka Nairobi tunakuja hapa Nakuru ambapo Joy Farm iko tunachukua maziwa kutoka Nairobi mpaka hapa Nakuru ni around 160 kilometers away from Nairobi. Tukisha chukua maziwa Joy Farm tunaelekea sehemu za Eldoret tunaenda kuchukua maziwa kwa farms zingine. E, hapa mahali tunachukua hapa Joy Farm maziwa uhusiano wetu na hao ni mzuri sana. Kwa wale wa kupo wote tumeshakutana na hao sana sana mse mwenye wa hii farm mse mwenye ako very humble na his fair will come in. na he is always ready kusikiliza na tucha kwa hizo famu sote tumepata lakini huyu naye yako urafiki yake na yetu iko mzuri kabisa Kagasi. I work with the new KCC and uh, I'm at Joy Farm who is our major supplier of quality milk and I would insist it's quality milk because he has been uh, working with us for more than 10 years supplying us with quality milk. It gives us all the parameters we require for quality milk which actually other farmers are still struggling to attain. It has been a model farm for us new KCC where we've uh, managed to use to train other farmers to learn new technologies of farming since we are moving from the normal old agriculture and old ways of farming and enticing modern farming. We would wish to refer each and every farmer in this country to visit and learn on the modern ways of farming, especially in the dairy industries. The farm has grown over time, having known Joy Farm to have started from 60 liters in a day and now doing 1,200 liters which he supplies to new KCC. So we've had that cordial working relationship with the Joy Farm as our major supplier at Nakuru plant. How do we manage the farm? We manage the farm through a software system, courtesy of Smart Cow, um, where we are able to monitor um, the daily activities of the farm on a daily basis. The manager has a laptop. He is connected with uh, the internet. Within the farm, we have internet. And wherever I go, I carry my router and uh, I'm able to access all the activities of the farm, be it feeding, be it milking. I'll be able to tell by the end of the day, this cow gave this amount of milk, this one increased, this one uh, went down, and I'll be able to query and find out from the manager why has this cow uh, not produced as usual. And then uh, we shall be able to interact and engage one another and see what to do. The same way, I'll be able to know how many cows were served how many cows were carved down, and uh, the rest of the management of the farm, how much feeds were consumed, as long as they were keyed in into the software system. I'm also able to see the movement of the cows, the movement of the people who gets into the farm, who moves out of the farm, through the CCTV cameras. So wherever I am, I'll be able to tune in and, uh, and be able to observe 
and uh, query the activity. Sometimes you will see a cow which has not been uh, uh, moving its line throughout the day and you'll be able to call and find out cow number this or cow under this name. Uh, how is it? Have you looked at it? Because from morning I've seen it has not uh, got the feeding trough, it has not fed. So we can, I can be able to check and uh, other directors also are able to do that. Then when we deliver or when our milk is collected, by the end of the day we get an email with uh, the feedback of how our milk is. We have several parameters that they look at and uh, with that feedback we'll be able to know what was the butterfat content of our milk, uh, what was the fratoxin levels, what was the total plate count, what was the coliform, what was the temperature the milk was collected from the farm? What was the temperature the milk was received uh, to the processing plant? And then we can be able to have a conversation with uh, the manager and uh, see where to improve because our milk is, um, is paid on quality basis. So the higher the butterfat content, the higher the pricing. The lower the aflatoxin level, the higher the prices. The lower the temperature, collection temperature, you get bonuses from there. Likewise, we also get uh, uh, penalties because if the aflatoxin level goes beyond 500 ppt or parts per trillion, uh, the milk is poor. So you lose that quantity for the day and uh, we have to be very keen. When we suspect that uh, the feeds we have given might have higher aflatoxin level, we always ask for a sample, we deliver a sample before we take the bulk and then uh, it is tested before. We spend a lot of money to destroy the same milk again. We have, uh, we are very keen on the quality. As I said, our farm is inspired by quality. We are inspired by quality. So when you go to the milking protocol, to meet the standards which are required by the processors, you have to have uh, uh, certain protocols to follow. One of them is to maintain hygiene. And to maintain hygiene, you must provide what is required. You must provide the sanitary uh, equipments which are required, the detergents which are required, the right attires for milking must be provided, enough water, warm water for the person who is milking to take a shower. Every time he is milking, doing milking, he has to take a shower. So you can imagine if you are the one on duty for a whole week, you will be taking a shower three times a day. So if the environment is not conducive, and especially when it is cold and the water is not, uh, they don't have warm water, it will be a challenge. And sometimes uh, you find whoever is milking will not be a happy worker. And when you don't have a happy staff, then you don't expect quality results. Mandina and Ido and Jackson, Metra, Upper Pomond or near Campiris, other than a mini cop process here to come up. Kira Mudu and a Kapuanga, Kira Wiki, Kiazio to come up. Nafa and Pue, Nieto for Pop Puanza, Nioge, Apo, with the end of the Zita, for Matinia to come up. Daily being the UK, Mompe and Kamu and Daily. Nikona <laughs> <laughs> 
vijana kula kirubiri inalingana na vijana kwa mabio na ba ni kwa nanda ya kundi mtu ya kuzuia mistake ndio ngombe nikimtoa hapo kwa kupamoa akienda kula bakteria hizi nyingine kwa machina na idorana kasi yangu ni kukamua hapo kama mara tatu kama asubu sabuni alafu na kama saa saba alafu saa moja na nusu mabe ni iko na maziwa kuna nyingine inatoa 39 nyingine inatoa na 25 na kwenda juu how long have you worked here kuna miezi sita are you happy with your work are you happy with your work eh nipende sana kazi yangu We have uh, other collaborators we work with. We have two vets who comes to our farm on call. One of them is a surgeon and he deals with the clinical management. And the other one is a vet, uh, first degree, and uh, his main uh, service is to serve the cows. That is uh, the AI, uh, artificial insemination. Uh, James Karioki Masharia Dr. James Karioki Masharia I'm a veterinary surgeon uh, I've been working at uh, Joy Farm since the year 2010, since I graduated in 2009 uh, since today well, at that time we had around uh, 20 animals uh, the main, uh, main work that I do currently at the farm is uh, hard health that is uh, general checking of animals that includes uh, management of calves diseases in calves management of cows in terms of diseases and also artificial insemination in animals so we have grown since uh, 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 back then we used to do artificial insemination uh, uh, by buying uh, semen locally but currently we are very uh, specific in terms of uh, breeding so we source our semen from uh, far and wide even uh, outside the country Uh, my relationship with uh, Joy Farm has been good. Uh, he is a very dynamic person and uh, Joy Farm himself uh, has taught me so many things. Although he's not a, a, a person of animal husbandry or animal health, he does a lot of research when it comes to animal breeding, feeding of animals and management of calves. So sometimes I come here as a, as a student not as a veterinarian i sit down i listen to whatever he research he has done and when we apply it it really works very well so uh, uh, in joy farm i've really grown he has given me opportunity to do quite a lot of things without uh, without uh, without any fear in this farm uh, i usually come like uh, three times a week and uh, the main 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 thing that we uh, i come to do mostly is usually artificial insemination because uh, since uh, 2010 after 2010 we had uh, from 2010 to around uh, 2015 we had quite a lot of challenges in the farm that is in terms of uh, viral diseases mastitis was a problem here and other uh, metabolic diseases like milk fever and other things but uh, through uh, experience and uh, through uh, a collaboration in terms of uh, discussions with the owner of the farm we have come to 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 to, to realize that prevention is usually better than cure so what we've done in the farm not necessarily this farm but in joy farm as you enter the gate you will find there is a water bath that has some chemicals in it when you enter into the farm in the corridors of the uh, animal uh, housing itself you will find that there are several water baths which usually have, have which have has really con uh, helped us control viral diseases from outside because lots of we usually have lots of visitors as you can see the farm is really good when it comes to issues to do with the, like mastitis hygiene if you look at the milkers all of them wear white that is a, a principle that uh, 
was uh, developed in the farm that makes sure that every person who handles the animal is clean because white uh, reflects cleanliness so uh, most most of the most of the issues in joy farm has been have been prevented through hygiene and also through uh, control measures like uh, water baths in every uh, center as you're entering the farm and also biosecurity no visitors enter the farm without any permission so you have really tried to put those controls in the farm We also have uh, others like um, Menegai community-based uh, organization, which is uh, under the new KCC Nakuru plant. These are the people we work together sometimes they come for uh, farm training. Sometimes they ask for our products like the daily milk, the mineral leak. And uh, we also partner with the, the short supply of uh, their target, the KCC, they request us to assist them and uh, we do that so we collaborate in that. We also have um, smart cow as I mentioned, we do a lot of training with them, training on the software and uh, the best practices in daily farming with them using their application or software and therefore we consider them as a major collaborator or stakeholder in Joy Farm. Uh, we have also been joined by another non-governmental organization by the name Induka Africa. This is an a, a NGO which is funding small-scale farmers and they give them capacity building in the best practices in daily farming. They also do funding to them and uh, we team up together to give service to such groups as Joy Farm. We sell animal feed, like I've said, daily meal and uh, mineral leak among other items which are daily related. We also sell manure, which uh, we can we, we sell from the lowest package of one bag to a full road, roll of 14 tons, uh, to the locals who would want to use organic or to practice organic farming instead of using the chemical fertilizers. We train uh, farm workers on daily farming we also train the managers and also farmers as a group or as individual on best practices when it comes to daily farming. How do we impact to the community which is around us, that is Joy Farm? As I mentioned earlier, uh, these estates don't have clean water. So my borehole water, we share with them, of course at a cost. At a subsidized cost. So we have uh, supplied uh, around 70 households within the estate with uh, clean drinking water. We also uh, sell them feeds, uh, the suckers, the excess feeds we sell to them. We coach the local farmers on dairy farming uh, where they ask for assistance, we do that. Kwa majina mina ito nafta lingobi, ini sanasana wana nita wana nita nafta kwa jina biyashara. Kwanza tusembe ni mini meyanza kukugaji wa ngombe. Na vile nilianza kukugaji wa ngombe, nimepatana na umze nimekuja nimenunua chakula kwa Aisha mbaya yake ya kudere mimi na chumvi sana sana na vile nimeanza kutea ngombe wangu wamebadilika sana sasa hapa nyuma unaona kuna ngombe wake nimekuja hapa sababu ya ku kwanza tuongee na yeye ile kitu sijapata kujua kwa ngombe wa maziwa nimekuja tukaongea na yeye na hivi hivi unaniona nimekula ngombe kama 10 na kitu karibu 20 na hivi majuzi alikuwa hapa chamba yangu Ni kama ambia ni takuja leo. Asa ni makuja leo ni kitukua chakula. Na ni kiko la dede milikuwa gani. Na chuzi. Tene kwa hini dunia kubo nana na mna hini. Hii ni dede. Dede di. Ya ngombe ya kutoka hapa kwa Joy Farm. Na ni metoka kutolewa kwa sosa hini. Ni ya meyeka. Na mechanganya kwa sahini. Hii hini nae ni chuzi. 
ndio mimi nakwambia na hapo vitu vyote kuna vitu vinaendea na hapo sisi kuna vitu vingine vingi na tuma ngombe ibadilike kwa haraka sana na nime tumeona tumetembea kwa shamba kidogo tukaona vile ameweka siri na vile na changanya chakula yake ya ngombe sasa tuseme kwa kujielezea kama kuelezea mambo ya hii shamba ya mzee ni shamba liko juu sana compared na mashamba mengine tumetembea tembea lakini ufugaji nilianza juu wa ngombe ya mzee mzee mwenyewe anaelewa Kenya anafanya na pia pia anatufundisha ana mambo ya ufugaji wa ngombe sijafuga sana sababu niko na mamiezi sijaenda kama yeye lakini mzee mwenyewe elimu yake anajaribu kusaidia watu wengine What is the future of Joy Farm? The future is that we want to increase the herd to 220 by 31st December 2023. We expect to have 220 herd. We expect to milk 110, and then the rest will be calves, dry cows, in calf heifers. Our expectation is that by the 2023 we shall be producing 2500 liters per day. We also expect to support the local dairy farmers with affordable pedigree heifers. We are breeders. Currently we have only five foundations. So our hand is is mainly Um, intermediate upper dix and pedigree. By 2023, we don't expect to have any upper dix in the farm, so we shall only be dealing with the pedigrees. And because we have reached our maximum of 220, we want to benefit the other farmers uh, around and far with affordable heifers. We shall have several categories because we have uh, a seven days calf. 6 months 12 months and in calf heifers so we shall include everyone and anyone who want to have a particular cow and basically by doing this we shall be uh, improving the standard of dairy farming in the nation that's how the joy farm is and that's what we plan to do by the year 2023 at the first december This is Joypa Planet. Uh, that yo yo nimekuja nayo ni silage, this maize silage. Ya 
preparing it from another farm which is outside the barn it is loaded the road direct so particularly what purpose what, what we do there there is cutting the road the tractor the cut everything to the road yeah, direct so it is, a, it is like a combine combine harvester so that is called the silage it is green when it is fresh but when it, it ferments it turns to brown, brownish or yeah brownish yeah. so when it is brownish it has undergone the process of fermentation so that is why it is from green to brownish oh, okay. it has undergone the process of fermentation so from there you are seeing those guys the rolling put there then those guys they put in the bunkers. These are called bunkers. Eh? Mm. We have six bunkers. Each bunker carry about 100 tons. That's what carries about 70 tons. Compact again with those bags you are seeing over there with the sand. It's Jina naitwa Moses Macharia. Mimi ni mkulima. Uh, ninalima mahindi ya silage. Wenye uh, inapatiwa ngombe. So nalimia Joy Farm. Uh, mwaka huu nimeweza kumulimia silage uh, tani 160. Wenye tumeweza kuvuna kwa siku tatu ama ine na ni mzuri sababu hata mahali tumevuna tunaweza rudisha bidhaa zingine kwa shamba kwa sababu hiyo mahindi tulikuwa tumepanda mwezi wa 4 na mwezi wa 8 tukaweza kuvuna na imemalizika na tumekucha sana tumemalizana na mwalimu ile mambo yote tulikuwa tumesizana imeenda mzuri Majina naitwa Luka Waidaka. Kasi yangu ni kasi ya transport. Na hapa kama hapa Joy Farm nafanya hiyo Joy Farm kasi ya transport. Kama sasa nimekuwa nikiletea kibebe silage kutoka kwa shamba na kuja kuleta hapa. Hii nimefanya nimefanya kwa muda mrefu sababu mimi nimeanzia lakini hii kasi nyingine yote hata ya matiri hapa mimi ndio nafanya yeye eh. so kubeba mchanga mawe yenye mchanga huko mimi mwana yenye kumjengo mimi ndio nimefanya hiyo kasi ya transport my name is Isaac Gedeji manager Joy Farm Ranet. Uh, we have uh, a lot of activities here in Joy Farm, but mostly it is uh, dairy farm rearing. Mainly we specialize in dairy cows and milk production. Production of dairy meal and also mineral salt, which we sell to other farmers as excess fonda. So that is also another supplementary way of uh, boosting the farm and boosting the income we get from the milk. We also do silage. We do have about that acres of maize and we do our own silage. We also buy maize from other farmers who has excess maize because we, we, we usually store uh, silage of about one and a half year. Like now we have stored about uh, 150 ton, tons and we are still aiming, we are going to store about another 150. We are about six workers here. I'm the manager, we have the assistant manager and we have other farm hands. We have other farm hand 
which we are also very important in the farm because they are the one who milk, they feed the cow, and they also do the cleaning. They also assist in, in, assist in the farm activities, although we in the farm we have cash members. Also, they are the one who are in charge of production of the excess fodder, that is our own daily meal and salt, and the one we sell to other farmers. So they are the one who produces that because of quality. Also the manager is in charge. He never mix him and in salt and also daily meal. He must supervise because of we don't want to compromise the quality of our products. And our aim is to go even beyond Nakuru County. We go to Meru, to Nyaururu, and even to Nyeri. We reach more farmers. Because our products are quality and are of good standard. Because what we sell to farmers is what we feed our own cows. So our quality is never compromised. Also our breeding is one of the best in the country because the director is the one who chooses the, the sires and he gets sires from the best companies. So we have very, very unique havers. And we are, we are targeting that. By 2022, we will have even heifers or cows producing more than 50 liters per day. Our current, our current average production is about 22 liters per day. We have the highest is about 40 to 45. We have the lowest is 18. 20 liters per day. So our average current is 22 liters per day. But there was a time we were we had gone to that liters per day. But now it is a bit low because there is a commodity we use and it is out of the market, which is a protein supplement. It is out of the market and it is very crucial in milk production. So our production is a bit low. But our average is always above that. And we are aiming to go even higher to even 40. Because the breeds we have now, they are capable of even going to 50 liters per day.